my goodness, oh, I think... I think that's enough. Attack and then give it to like... They're gonna for sure block her. So I guess here? So they're incentivized to... Oh man, I think that's gonna do it. Greetings, happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic, so hopefully you can struggle less. We're at it again, this time with Arena's Cube, which is one of my favorite ways of playing Magic. So without further ado, let's dive on in. Uh, let's see here. Ox of Agonis is a very solid card in the mono red. God Pharaoh's Gift, uh, Goblin Dark Dwellers, Leer... I really try to avoid playing blue and cube because I feel like it's overdrafted. Everyone wants to be blue because blue's doing the most busted things. Maybe we take the farm man, maybe we take the ox. I think also Dark Dwellers isn't bad as well. The ox will wheel. The ox is really what mono red um, wants to be and that's it. There's God's Pharaoh's gift, but that's kind of expensive for right now. I don't particularly care for Clone Crafter. Um... It's a little early tick fixing, so I think it's between Ambitious Farmhand and Dark Dwellers. And because I think the Ox may wheel, let's go ahead and take Dark Dwellers here and see what happens. Uh, there's Patient Rebuild, there's Glasspool Mimic, uh, Fading Hope. So let's see here. I do like Scavenging Ooze, right? Kind of shuts down. Uh, graveyard strategies. There's also an Embreath Shield Breaker, which I like a lot just because the fact that it gives us a body on top of uh, a uh, Shatter effect and I think there's a lot of artifacts that are quite relevant in these cubes that matter So yeah, let's take the Shield Breaker over Foul Player Ooze are probably the cards I'm looking at here I think Patient Rebuilding is very strong on its own as well, but once again, I try to, to wait before I go into ooh ooh Cold Glaive is strong. Uh, Phyrexian Obliterator, man. That's a good motivator to be mono black. Hornet Queen. I think it's between those two. Um, there's Surveyor as well that keeps us very open. Channeler is all right. Jeez. Um, so Phyrexian Obliterator is a high payoff, but also a high like cost. These are both very solid picks. I like Ape as well. So I guess we just take the card that keeps us the most open, which is Surveyor also take a retreat man these cards are very strong but i do think they're somewhat replaceable somewhat you do get paid off for being mono black you can play this yeah let's just stay open and take the surveyor and see what happens grim initiate seekus chariot bomat courier would be a decent card um the good thing if we do end up going mono red is that we don't have wor have to worry about fixing which is kind of sweet you can take the ranger of eos if we want to go to re like red white right um initiate i think is just okay so let's take the momac courier here double vision not really what we're looking for uh so maybe let's see sphinx of foresight a 4-4 flyer for four doesn't seem absolutely horrible a lot of black i guess we could take the summit see if because black is going by as well so maybe we could do like a black red sack um i do like null priest of oblivion but let's go ahead and take the fixing for right now Uh, I guess let's take Yogmoth Overnight. At the beginning of your end step, the player lost. Man, yeah, maybe maybe Mono Black's gonna be open. Tezzeret, there is blue open. Tezzeret seems okay. He's not busted. Take Infernal Grass. Let's take Yogmoth. 
And then no black in this pack. <laughs> uh, oh, Jedi. Uh, Wilderness Reclamation. This would be a good card to take if we think blue is open. Over Skewer the Critics? Sure. I don't know what's... I don't know. I don't know what's up. Well, Anax is a good mono red card as well. Right? Could take island here but i like i like yeah so we didn't see oh we actually didn't see oh there you go all right so mono red's open yeah let's try it this is a good way to refill our hand later in the game right we dump our hand um play with fire would have been a good pickup as well but yeah let's go ahead and do that um we think blue mimic can copy like anax Right? I don't want to tap land. Foul play if we still think black is an option. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's just take Mimic. Ape wield. So what did they take out of this pack? The black. Yeah, they took... Uh... So, Chandler. I like Ape quite a bit. But I think we can work with Channeler. Let's take Channeler. Uh, this helps the green splash. This guy seems okay. Not busted. Just okay. For sure. Let's get our one drop. Reclamation can get out of here. Double vision over Amalgam's Awakening. Triple black seems kind of rough. Let's take the double vision. I don't think we're going to play it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So plenty of green lands, which is kind of neat. Quite a bit going on here. I wonder if Monument's decent in this deck. Like, go wide. I think we can take Lava Manter. It's a little bit of a Nambo with Ox, but not horrible. It's a good way to give us some reach. Actually, Soul Star Maid seems kind of good. Lava Manter may... Uh... Uh, these two, which one would wheel more, right? Colgan's man's all right. Uh, what's this one do? Plus two in vigilance. Crew creature attack. Create a two night token with vigilance attacking. Yeah, but six is a lot for this deck. I think we could do better. <laughs> yeah, let's take the soul scar mage. It, it just makes it to where like the burn spells we have have a higher chance of actually killing our opponent. Speaking of which, we'll go ahead and take Lightning Bolt here over Siege Commander. Uh, Siege Gang. This deck this deck is not going to want very many fives. We already have two. Um, so we'll take Lightning Bolt here. What card is this? Okay, Sign in Blood. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll take Lightning Bolt here. It seems... I think we're, we're going to be Mono Red. Young Pyromancer versus S Reckless Stormseeker. Icy Manipulator I don't think is a horrible pick just because it can always remove our opponent's biggest blocker or whatnot, but Stormseeker is pretty hard to pass up here. And just being able to give all our guys charge. There's Play with Fire, there's Pillar with Flame. Pillar with Flame is fantastic. Actually, all three of those cards are great. There is a chance that Pro Rampaging Prostodon will wheel, but I think think i'm gonna take it because i'm not 100 percent sure i really don't know if it's a, a really strong pick in the cube or not um weaponized monsters that's a good one for us yeah i think we're just going mono red though we're not gonna get anything out of this pack on the wheel so of note um surveyor can probably go now if we get enough burn spells i may just try double vision though i'm not looking to play it other creature you control, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you deals one damage to any target. Man, is that... Is that bad? I like Earthshaker a lot, but that sounds pretty decent as well. I don't know. Is she worth playing black for? We could have definitely had some sack fodder. And she combos with... Um, man. That's really... Uh, 
She combos pretty well with our, what is it, weaponize the monsters as well. Man, I'm going to take her. I'm going to take her and try her out. I could be wrong, though. Ugh, nothing in this pack for us either. Guess we could take Field of Ruin. This is bad against us. Skyclave could be a consideration. Guess we just take the Field of Ruin in case we end up going mono black. Uh, Blood Crypt over Emberstorm Predator is pretty sweet, but at this point, Antoski. Yeah, let's just take the Crypt. I mean, Predator is pretty, and it's not going to wheel, right? Predator and Judith seems pretty sweet. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the adult. I'm gonna be the adult here. And uh, Ketcher's monument actually would be pretty sweet too. Is that too cute? We don't have white, so we don't get the discount. But we keep making one ones for Judith, and we could go what? Nah, let's just let's just stay clean. Stay clean. Uh, I don't think we're playing any of this. And we have man, oh, we have man devil as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, we knew this already though. So, green blue. It's funny because you guys heard me say initially that I try to stay off of blue. Blue's very much open, but look. Kenra, Earthshaker, wield. Yeah, red's open as well. So, what, so black is what's seen drafted. So, we get some more payoffs here. Let's find out. So, nothing phenomenal in this pack for us but i don't hate a faithless looting so we have one burn spell so yeah sadly the uh the old double vision is not making the deck but our fixing two pieces of fixing so far put devil back in i wonder i wonder if it would have been crazy honestly to think about the uh uh what does this chandra do i don't think she's good for our deck Oh, yeah, actually, she is good because she sacrifices. So it works with Judas and May. Oh, yeah. All right, cool, cool. And she's cheap. Uh, other other pick would be Scorch Spitter, which is just okay. That's going to be cool. I wonder if we could do that. All right. So now I kind of feel like our sack thing is kind of going off here. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. <laughs> Ember Cleave, yes, please. Okay. All right. Opportunist, opportunist. I don't want Phyrexian Arena because it's too black, even though I think our deck could handle it. Opportunist is another combo. Immolation is also a consideration for additional reach. Like that's some synergy, right? What's our curve looking like? We have quite a few threes. Hmm. Let's take the opportunist. Inquisition of Kozilek over Hagar Mauling. I don't think we're playing it. Maybe we just take the tap land. It's kind of risky though. Yeah, let's take the Inquisition here. Man, this actually seems like a pretty sweet little synergistic deck we got going on here. I like Dire Fleet Dare to... Oh, man. Sword of Mind and Body over Taurus Disciple. That's pretty tough. Though, Mind and Body can just steal games. And maybe Torof's Disciple wheels. We've seen some pretty crazy wheels, honestly. We're heavy on threes, so we don't Blood Mage. I think we just take Deem Worthy. I don't think we're going to play it. It's a little too high for our curve. Blood Mage gives us more Sack Fodder, but eh. 
What happened? Mono red was open, right? We were seeing what what, what happened in this draft. Green was open again, though. Are we really just going to dry out for the rest of the pack? That's horrible. Interesting. Interesting. What's this one do? Destroy target non land permanent if it's a creature or if... I guess... No, let's just take the removal. Wow. Yeah, we're getting nothing. So Disciple didn't wheel? That's unfortunate. So someone must have went into red at some point. Someone definitely went into red, which is so interesting to me. Because Ox Wield, man, eh, I think I'm still fine. Disciple would have been a great pickup for us, don't get me wrong. So, what, is this one a cast whenever another creature enters the battlefield? Ugh. So, Ferocidon is a bit of a nonbo with our other Chandra. I will admit that. Um, so, destroy target non-land, permanent, or Inquisition. Yeah, I guess we just want to kill a creature, right? I think that's it. Double vision or deem worthy. Yeah, I might as well just cleanly kill a creature. At least we got some fixing. Not a lot, which is unfortunate, but we got some. Wait, where are we at on lands? What is that? Oh, 15. Oh, they already adjusted. Okay, fair. And that's 11. 11 9 or 11 8 yeah seems good only one burn spell man that's pretty poopy but weaponized we have other forms of reach for sure i wonder if we're better off just putting another one one in our oh we did already okay never mind like that's gonna be cool i hope we can do like the judith mayhem devil chandra combo that'd be really sweet it's a huge nombo with frost on though but i mean that's living the only problem is it's all threes which is kind of awkward but you know i wonder there's just, like our curve is low enough but there is a consideration to drop a land and put like deem worthy but at this point i don't see it especially with something like ox and things where we want to play multiple things in a turn field of ruin is that think we're fine all right let's give this one a shot yeah actually our soul scar mage is pretty bad we took we have like one burn spell and then we only have two targets for dark dwellers but i mean it has our colors and we have we'll keep this hopefully we can draw one of our two drops that'd be great or another or another one i'll, I'll be happy with either i just want to make a play next turn There we go. All right, I am cool with that. I am cool with that. Blue white. Let's see if we can punish our opponent. They might have a counter spell for Judith. They may not. Gross. Oh, well, we're not gonna let him keep a life linker, so. I just want to get that thing dead. Nice. I like that. This is where not having cheap burn is a bit of an issue, right? I mean, we could kill that to get in for four. I guess five. It just seems so bad, right? Kind of flooding out already. Feels so bad. And they're playing green. 
Let's just hold, I guess, and see what they do. Tap land, they scry. This is an instant. All the cheap stuff. So, I think we'll probably do this on their turn so we get a prowess trigger. Luckily, most of our deck stinks, unless they grabbed our lightning bolt. As far as, like, for them to steal. Like, it's a little risky, but... Okay, cool. We still get to do both. Perfect. So... Yeah, I guess so. Kill that. Trigger. Get in there. So unfortunate. Yeah. Play Channeler. And then we can pitch our Swamp next turn. Pitch our Swamp and we're still able to kind of play things. Yeah, so... Already punished, unfortunately. Well, shoot. When we play it... Yeah, we'll wait till next turn. Yep, already punished. <laughs> For burning that removal spell. So we're really looking for our reach to get us there. I wish it was at the end of your turn so we could do this at the end of our opponent's turn, but it is what it is. Clearing spirit, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. All right. So this is, uh, we're looking for like an Ember Cleave on Linax or Annex. Checks out, checks out. Turn. All right. Activate. Discard. Chandra. Yes. <laughs> Chandra Nalar, pyromancer extraordinaire. Mostly. She's not flying yet, but that triggers that. They have two easy blocks, unfortunately, but... Oh, we can kill the flyer, so we're good. We're good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that feels good. So we got our combo. We've got our combo going. Wait. Oh, non-token. Derp. Oops. That was kind of important. That was kind of important. My bad. <laughs> Alright, we can still Ember Cleave. It's fine. We can still Ember Cleave. It's okay. It's okay. So it's it's uh, the other one that we needed. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, our opponent is going off. That's sweet. Oh, yeah, sure. Gosh darn it, really? Now we get the frost done. Now we get it. <laughs> um, oh, what a bad one. What a bad one. And we can't even minus her now to kill something. Yeah, I would have definitely minus her. 
if if I knew what was going on. Um, man, our opponent totally went off. Not gonna lie, holy cow! So I guess we just frost it on and hold. Looking for that sweet, sweet Ember Cleave action. We're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. Why didn't that trigger? Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, wait a second. We're in trouble. Though, an Ember Cleave on Annex will definitely get us there, though. Like, so we just... Oh, of course they mill our guy. Why would they not mill our guy? That works. That actually does work. We could faith this looting as well. That would have comboed great with uh, Chandra. We could sack to shoot their flyer. Faith is looting, but I think we're just gonna sack our initiate, right? We do take one in that exchange. We could slowly start whittling our opponent. They're going to be taking three every time we do that. No. So, do we faith the looting? Well, we have no cards in hand. So, yeah. I think we just pass. We need them to not mill our... Our, uh, Ember Cleave. That's how we win this game. Yeah, they have red block. They, they... Yeah, they could block our sword. Um, so no attacks. So can we burn them out? I don't know if we can or not. Oh man, come on, Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave. We have a huge annex, so we need Ember Cleave here. Okay. Ah, oh, Lava Master would have been a good one too. We're just not catching a break here. I'm trying to think. We can... I'm trying to think... If we... Oh yeah, and they're gonna give it charge. God, Stormseeker was such a good hit. I think every time I used the, the... That guy, the steel card, I got like garbage. Garbage. Every time. It was like a random 2-2. Or a consider something. I was just like, ugh. Or is it, is it permanent? I don't remember. So what are we trying to do here? We can kill the three. I, I really feel like we just need to start burning them. Which does make our annex worse. Like we could kill that. We could. I just don't know if that's correct. I don't think so. I think we just take it. What are you doing? Can we burn them out? Forgot about that. That's a little scary. That is a little scary, not gonna lie. Non token. Did I mess that up?
by doing can they destroy an enchantment they have a kill spell is that what they were doing it's pretty bad for us like absence or judith they obviously waited because they didn't want us to shoot. Yeah, they're going to target Judith. Oh, gosh darn it. Maybe I should have been a little more conservative about that second one. Okay. I don't know if we're dead or not. We can four them, right? Hmm. Two, four damage to the face. They left back plenty of blockers. Can we get through enough damage? They have to double block here, right? So they block here and here. And then they take... We have it, right? They have to block these two. And... Yeah, actually, I think we have it. I didn't see that one. Oh no, I didn't see the spirit. I 100% did not see the spirit. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And we're gonna lose our Frostodon now, which means they can play guys and they won't ping. No. Oh man, I messed that up so bad. Alright. So, uh, I'm so irritated with myself right now. Very irritated with myself. Yeah, I am so irritated. I punted that. I, the spirit did it. I didn't see the spirit. Oh, but another thing still died. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what a game. Oh, that wore me out. That wore me out. And I knew it. I had Judith on the board. Oh, man. The struggle is real, guys. Beep, beep. Here comes the struggle, buzz. Oh, that was fun. Judith is sick, though. Well, our opponent goes first. Do you have a turn one, a turn two, and a turn three if you want to? I really like to play the uh adventure side of shield breaker but i'm not opposed to just running it out there uh let's keep running out lava mancer that early is a little you know risque but chandra plus frost dawn not exactly the combo we're excited about blue black who does blue black have artifacts i'm not sure get in there no pause. Let's just play out our curve. We get board wiped. We may hold off on the Ferocidon. I'm not 100% sure. Blue Black doesn't feel like they're going to have a bunch of dudes, right? Blue Black Red. Okay. It's a little bit of an issue. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get in there. I don't think they're going to block. I don't think so. 
They are going to get to gain some life, but they take a damage, so I feel like it negates it. Sure. So Earthshaker here, swing. Lightning Bolt, that's kind of sweet, was it? Paid three life. Alright, fair. Let's Earthshaker. Sack the clue. We could go face with it, but Pretty good. Uh, Faith of Sleeping don't need to do it just yet. It's so funny that both games already we've had our Frost on plus our Chandra. But our opponent's at 9. Brawl, alright. Let's see here. Fair enough. Ooh. Ooh. Hit him for two. That doesn't seem great. I think we Faithless Looting here. We may pitch the Chandra. Oh. Dark Dwellers and Light Bolt feels pretty good. Minus her to just recast our. This is a little awkward, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I kind of want to keep all this, actually. Dark Dwellers feels pretty strong. We just can't play any of it this turn. Man. Minus Shronda, Lindy Bolt here, get in, but we lose one of our guys. We just keep Dark Dweller and swing. <clears throat> that combos really well with Chandra. Let's keep, man, they're running counter magic. Feels pretty greedy to me. Fair enough. Fair enough, opponent. Opponent discards a card. Man, that's that's kind of rough, actually. Opponent discards a card. So I guess play Dark Dwellers. Go face or kill Brawl. No attacks. Discard Morbid Opportunist. Yeah, I think that Faithless Looting was pretty bad, honestly. That's probably where I messed up. Archive, okay. So shield, and now you see the, the benefit of Shield Breaker is we could have smashed that, but I think we're okay. Because one more land, we urge, we can run Earthshaker, right? Treasure map. All right, this is looking pretty good for us, actually. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, that was huge. That was absolutely huge. And I think that will do it. That guy can't block and swing, and I think that will do it. That was close. This is very close. Ooh. Oh man. Opponent goes first, but we have one heck of a sh <laughs> of a curve out. So yeah, we keep this. We can get 
land into uh land into ember cleave i think we're doing pretty darn good so we could war mage to leave Earthshaker, but i think we just get in there Question is, do we Anex or Ferocidon? Mono Black. A little bit of pick. I'm pretty sure they'll make a dude here, right? Yeah. Checks out. Math checks out. Let's go. Anex and. What does holding do for us here? I think. I think we hold. Getting him for one doesn't seem great. It's unfortunate they literally played something that too. Sacrifice. Oh, nice. Your corpse will make a nice souvenir. Fair enough, opponent. Fair enough. We at least get to kill Varaska here. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Oh, that's... Oh, it has to attack there. That's unfortunate. But we can play all our stuff, so that's cool. So let's go... Attack with everything, I guess? Yeah, I think... I feel like we attack with everything and play the rest of our hand. We could be playing into a board wipe, but I don't think so. For sure, attack there. And then just attack for these two here, I think. Leave back the Kenra for the time being. The shadows for now. Okay. I'm, I'm, I like that exchange, honestly. I, I feel good about that. And we're going to try to surprise them with the sword. Sword not completely busted against Golgari, but it's not... Oh, I suck into that poorly. Derp. I, I I was I wanted to make sure that arena yeah I, I don't know why I did that that, that way I'm I'm an absolute goober that was uh that was a struggle bus in full effect full effect my friends full Gogari are they gonna lacerate us here all right uh attack with everything I want to play this post combat, but it would be nice for this guy to get a little bit bigger, get a little more damage in. You gotta have something here, right? Whatever. I, would, I normally like to equip the sword the same turn we play it, but I mean, I don't think we're gonna play Lava Mancer here. I th think, maybe, I don't know. All right, what do you got? I mean, we know they have something, right? But we're mono red. We can't really sit there. So let's see what they end up killing. Them killing Anax so quickly was a little unfortunate. But, I mean, if they kill Frostdawn, they block here. They take one, two, three, four, five this turn. Zach checks out. Checks out as well. Okay. Uh, then sure, we'll play Lava Mancer here. That's actually really annoying because it gains them life. <laughs> but we can equip the sword. It is green. Thank goodness for that. So let's go here. Because that gets us extra damage. And do we want the the redundancy here? Do we want just looting to fuel our Lava Mancer? Actually, and it played it awkwardly. Because now we can't activate Lava Mancer. That's very awkward. Uh, it's when it blocks too. Whenever it attacks or blocks. Fair. So let's just go here. That gets in for four. Make a dude and mill them. Edict plus that is fine. 
Uh, Hornet Queen, that was a good mill for us. Scoot Swarm. Okay, they have a pretty cool deck. Um, shoot him in the face. We could loot for more reach. Because a 1-1 one -one isn't going to do much for us. It's like barely a chump blocker. Can't do anything with a single block, which is unfortunate. Yeah, tapping it so awkwardly is awkward. So... I don't think they can... <sighs> yeah... I'm just gonna play a dude here. We may be able to go wide, right? No, we can't, because they're gonna gain six if they want. Okay, that's a good sign for us. That's a good sign. And grab our looting. So going wide is a little off the market now. I wonder if we should have equipped on something else. Let's see what they do here. They just make a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we could have tapped, killed something, right? I'm gonna take it. Another black. We can bait this looting for A card. Gives us far away for Shinra. They, oh, I guess they could double block now. We could switch it over to this guy so it has quick draw. It's one less damage though. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Guess we could always sweep it here, but they could just chump block is the issue, right? We just keep trying to burn them out is my question. So many decisions. So many decisions. Let's fade this looting. Land. Land. And then let's attack. See what they do. right or wrong I'm not sure maybe we should have gone face there that guy can't block One, two three four five six this is gonna be very close how do they get that back Can we mill them out? It's 16 and it's 10 cards, right? Yeah, I guess we just sat here. We may be able to kill them now. Because this guy... Let's see what they do if they gain life or... Make a dude. Make a dude. No block. So this gets in for four, right? They gain three, and then we could shoot. Oh, never mind. We just attack here. Derp. I'm a s silly butt. So tap, tap, tap. I almost missed that. I'm not going to lie. Go to combat. Put one here. He attacks alone. Protection from green. Ping, ping, ping. Boom. That triggers. We make a wolf and then activate targeting you. Uh, just nope. Jeez. Targeting you. Discard. Discard. And there we have it. All right, cool. We got there. Whew. It's a little touch and go there for a second. Man, we finally get Embercleave, but like, uh, I guess we can go Anax Chandra Embercleave. This feels really clunky. Just playing nothing for two turns 
seems kind of bad. That means this is not... Though Chandra helps make this kind of cheap. I'm going to keep it. I may regret that. We have part of our combo though, right? Weaponized monsters plus Chandra. I feel like this might have been kind of bad. Hey, did we just play this guy? Oh, man. Man. <laughs> Cube is so much fun, though. Cube is so much fun. I absolutely love it. So we'll go Anax into Chandra, I guess. Fair. Yep. I'm okay with that. Ooh. Uh, it's so tempting. So tempting. What are we doing here? I think they're going to kill the first thing we play. So let's just play Anax. Because I feel like the very first thing we play is going to die. And I want to keep our charge. That feels really powerful. Oh, wow. All right, opponent. That's what's up. Getting in there. Getting in there, opponent. Uh, then let's go this way. Can Sha yeah, because Shano's just going to die, right? They're at 11. Can we sneak in a sweet Ember Cleave kill? Oh, that would be so good. Ah, oh, they're targeting an axe. Darn it. <laughs> we draw a land, though. No, that won't be enough. Play Chandra plus, that's three things attacking, so it goes down to three. We wouldn't be able to. That'd be pretty sweet, though. Come on, just pump your knight. No! No land? No land? Wow! Opponent gutsy! So, Lightning Bolt? Is... No, it's double red. Oh, no. We attacked for three. This is... And then we could still weaponize. Oh, man. No, they have the Lightning Bolt. I feel like we still have to Ember Cleave. We just have to Ember Cleave one of these guys, I guess. Maybe I should spread it around. What if it's a Pillar of Flame instead of a Lightning Bolt? Would I feel pretty bad about this? Opponent! You shouldn't have done that. I would have played it so safe if they didn't do that, honestly. I would have, like, you guys already know. Oh my gosh, Cube is a blast. Oh man. Alright, this seems like a sweet curve out. Uh, one, two, three? Yeah, I like this. We'll keep this. I think we go with the the Scorch Spitter over the Soul Fire Mage. Just because it gets in for a low. Oh, nice. That guy with Opportunist seems pretty sweet. So, do we go double one drops here? Is kind of tempting. It is actually pretty tempting. I think that's what we're going to end up doing, honestly. Over. We don't know what their second color is yet. But playing Opportunist allows us to get in there and we don't feel as bad if something happens. It would be nice to draw our Ox at some point. Man, I, oh, I'm i halfway tempted to get... No. Ooh. It's a little annoying. Ooh. That's actually really freaking awkward, opponent. <laughs> Darn it. 
Uh, I have all the things he could have played, man. Scavenging ooze is like the worst for us right now. That is the absolute worst because it's going to eat our dudes. And we don't have that much removal. We literally have two pieces of removal. That was really good. <laughs> and all our st we don't have any of our two ones. They at least get in a point of damage. Sad face. Can we get Chandra now? Chandra would be nice with Mayhem Devil in play. See, that should have been your turn two play. That should have been it. All right, uh, opportunist swing. Are you good? Double block? They are not. Okay, we're back on the board. Back on the board. Tap out and then draw Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave would be sweet because we get to kill Ooze. So, Ember Cleave? What else do we want to see in our deck? Lightning Bolt. No. No. At least we draw a card and they can't sacrifice it just yet. Ooh. Yes, please. I Man, I kind of want to keep that in hand. But drawing extra cards, man, that's, that, that's pretty huge, honestly. Because we're not going to be able to hit it next turn. So let's get it. Hell yes. Thank you, deck. Yo, low. I mean, it's not that much, though, because they're all 1-2s. <laughs> it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage this turn. It's half their life. They're going to have to block. What are they taking out? Probably the Soul Scar Mage. Oh, they can take out Kenra. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fair. So, the question is... Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely glad. Oh, so they kind of messed up, too. Well... Yeah, oh yeah, we're definitely dropping Anax there. There's no way we don't. Uh, our opponent's at 10. That's like not enough to kill them. And it exiles. Ugh. This is bad. This is real bad, so we don't get a card out of it. Guys. This is a really good card for them to have. Okay. Okay. We lose our opportunist to get in for. I guess if we lose our Kenra, we can immediately bring it back. Right? This is like the window for it. And we get to draw a card. Oh, gosh darn it. Why'd I do that? I don't know why I did that. I'll be honest with you, chat. I should have waited. So now they know that we can play the Shinra, the Kenra again. <sighs> Sequencing. I should. I need to slow down just a little bit. Yeah. Fair. Okay. What do we draw? Oh, land. Not great. Yeah, oh, why'd I do that? If I didn't play the land, I guarantee you they would block the, the Kenra. Guarantee it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can't, they don't quite have, they haven't ascended yet. Okay. And this guy's never gonna fly. Ugh. Really? Really, deck? Lightning Bolt. They gain one life, they go up to seven. They block two things, right? They block here and here, they take two. That doesn't seem great. So I guess we just play it and we hold. This guy's gonna be able to block, this guy has reach. So we're just waiting to draw gas. That guy having reach is pretty good. 
Yes, we could have. No. All right. I mean, we're not we're not drawing dead, right? Do we have the bane fire in our deck? I don't remember. Nope. Oh man, that ooze is gonna be the end of us. We really need to draw a removal spell. Luckily, they're at a low enough life total where I don't think they can straight up just attack us. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That... No, it's only doing one damage because they gain life. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's so close. Can we do it? We need them to tap out for green, so I think we have to hold this. We can't let them see that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Judith, yes? Okay, okay. Now we're playing with fire. Literally. So they can block. They have three blockers now. They have a response? All right. Yeah, man, we almost... Well, they were killed in response anyways. Okay, so... We can't kill them this turn. But we're, we're on the path here. We're on the path. We attack with this guy. We can attack with our Kenra. That... Oh, man. This is super awkward. Uh, oh, we get attacked with first strike, right? Oh, but it's only plus two, and they have a five. So close. So close. Yeah, I think we just have to use the double ping. Oh, yeah, they could have made two fives, yeah. Oh, man. It's really strong for them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're riding old boy to victory, that's for sure. Okay. This is going to be such a close game. They gain one, but we could do two. Yeah, man. Yeah, how crazy is that ooze? That ooze is doing so much work. So we need our card draw. Hitting them right now doesn't do anything because they just literally sack, right? So we hit them for two, they gain one. Or no, we hit them for three, but they gain one. So they go to seven. Seven now. Then five three one and they have enough mana to do it too and we can't even race to try to kill that thing either that's the awkward part Right? Is that we would love to just kill that dude. But it's just not enough. I wonder if we should try to kill... No. Chandra helps us get back nothing at this point. Though it does let us attack. Can, is that enough to kill them with weaponized? I don't think so, right? It is! That's right, because Judith will ping them for everything, right? Whenever non-token. And she gives these guys a plus. That's enough, right? I think that is. Oh my goodness, I think. 
I think that's enough. Attack and then give it to like... They're gonna for sure block her. So I guess here? So they're incentivized to... Oh man, I think that's gonna do it. Nothing has first strike. So they block here and they take... Oh my gosh, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Oh, maybe we were incentivized for them to kill creatures. So, wait, that's that's lethal, right? Am I missing something here? Oh, man. Oh, this is why I play cube. Oh, it stresses me out, but it's a ton of fun. Uh, we go first, and we have a bit of a curve, so I think we can keep this one. Don't have one of our one drops, unfortunately, but maybe the haste on Kenra kind of uh, makes up for it, right? Bit of an oh yes. So a bit of a nombo with Brostodon and Nanax, but we have an Ember Cleave, so could have a turn four kill. Ooh, that's good for us. Oh well, shoot. All right, now we're just gonna go this way. They take five, they're at 13. Then the question is, do we Frostodon or we Anax? Annex, I don't know why I was saying Anax, it's Annex. Four color? Yeah, wow, four color, good stuff. Maybe five color? So Ornithopter, quite important for them. Bear. Man, not quite enough to get in there, unfortunately. That would have been super sweet if we could. Like, play Embercleave there. Wait. Attack for... Yeah, we need a, we need a land. Uh, let's see here. So... Anax? It's your Anax or Frostodon. Frostodon has Menace, so it could just get in there we don't lose anything. It actually doesn't feel like the worst. They all just block Stormseeker. They missed their land drop. Let's go here. Yeah, I think I like that. We just need a land. We need a land. I think we have this game. They have all the colors, though, which is super cool. I like the fact they're playing Hive Heart. We actually did a video on Hive Heart Shaman because I thought the card was neat. It's a little clunky, though, for Constructed. But, you know, we made it work a little bit. Let's see what they do. All right. Access to five mana. So they hit their land drop, right? Ren. Okay. So they're going to take one. They prepare for land? Land? Ah! Oh! So close. So let's see here. What are we trying to do? If we play Chandra in A space, they block, block, take five. All right? Because I feel like they try to kill other things. So let's just Anax. And they have to block. I guess they could block these two, right? So do we send in these? I, I don't... Well, shoot. Actually, you know what? If we wait, we can Ember Cleave them, right? Oh, but we can Ember Cleave them anyways. Oh, that's so touchy. Yeah, let's take it. Let's see. I, I feel like they have to block Anax. Maybe I should have blocked with Stormseeker as well. Okay. That bodes well for us. Yeah, I think I should have attacked with Stormseeker as well. 
but all right yeah we're good we're good let's see tap out opponent we'll amber clean of him again <laughs> our deck has some synergy i think the black splash is worth it so what are they doing are they just gonna make a dude oh that'd be great if they just make a dude what do you guys think about secret layer cards i don't know i i i think they're like i don't hate the fact that they make them i personally don't like them um to be completely honest with you uh and and aesthetically it makes it a little awkward for me to play with against because i it's so i i shortcut you guys for those of you who have been watching this channel you know that i shortcut enough where i mess up to the point and so i look at these lands like the um the innistrad lands the the black and white ones oh my god i think they're all swamps i just always think they're all swamps because they're all they share all the qualities of a swamp they're not so i messed that up so that i would have like that if they play that i have no idea what kind of mana that makes i'd have to look at it like 80 times come on tap out does it tap him it doesn't that's right so one two three four five six they you make uh let's see it makes one two three it makes a three three four four it makes a four four make a four four dude i just no they didn't tap out why did you not tap out sadly we couldn't we could plus chandra i hate that they didn't tap out but we can go this way and still be able to swing so that's sweet i think we still have this frostodon has done some serious damage to us all right can we get there? Oh, it's so scary. I don't know what to play around against all these colors. All right. Something's got to get in there. Come on. Do something. A strange angel. Okay. Okay. What are they bouncing? Okay. I mean, I I think we still have them, right? Oh, they chose not to. All right, they still have two mana. Two mana. So what are we Ember cleaving? They can't has menace. So we're just gonna Ember cleave a, a dummy, I guess. They could bounce it. All right, fair. We got there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Don't get me wrong. It is kind of poopy that we're fun policing people, right? I'll, I'll admit that. Uh, two cards that we can't play. We have three lands, though. We have a one drop and a Chandra. This is kind of... Man, but Judith is one of some games. I'm going to keep this. This is a little risky. But we've definitely been the fun police. I won't lie. Which, you know, to each its own, right? That, that kind of... But we don't always draft mono red, but it was definitely open, you know? We, ugh, man, two out of our three, four, two out of our four black cards. Let's see how good our fixing is. We just need one swamp. So, or our dual land would be sweet. I think I still want just a dual land here. Oh, man. Against blue. Really wanted a two drop. I'll tell you what, though. I've been thoroughly impressed with Judith, and we're not even a sack deck. We The only problem is we keep drawing Chandra, and we don't have our Wheeler, or whatever the guy's name is, right? Which is unfortunate, because that's really the combo. All right, that's... uh. I'll tell you what, though. We've gone Frostodon every single time, so we're probably going to just play Chandra, I think. Don't worry. I brought company. Alright, so let's see. Frostodon next, probably. Blue white, so we could expect a board wipe, so I think I'm glad we got Chandra down. Oh, so they're gonna mill us, okay. So I think I'm just gonna Kenra. Yeah, I think we're just gonna Kenra and just start slamming in there get them dead as quickly as possible. It's 
Interesting. They're tanking right now with a full grip. That's quite interesting. Like, I think... I think it's more valuable to drop Kenra and get in the two damage right away than it is to, to play the Ferocidon. Uh, well, no, we can't do both, unfortunately. Uh, I think we still go here. I mean, we're getting him for five. That's a good amount. So what are we looking for? I mean, I guess just Ember Cleave. Hopefully our opponent's like a tap out control. No, we needed that black. I mean, it was gonna be a couple turns before we got there, so. Uh, another one of our hasty units would be kind of sweet. Cast out, all right. Takes out our Chandra Fair. Next time, your toast. Okay. That's five damage, all right. Uh, that uh, was that our lightning bolt or was that our faith that's looting? That was our lightning bolt, and we already lost our goblin dark dwellers and our Chandra. No opponent main phasing that interesting. So that's game. Wow, just ruthless on our opponents, and yeah, smooth 7 0. Mono red, just doing mono red things, man. We were definitely the fun place, which is unfortunate, right? Because you play cube to do fun things, but you know, sometimes mono white, mono red, and uh, mono green are fun, man. But that's sweet, cool. Get a free draft, so that's exciting. Double rares, we get anything that we can brew with? Absolutely not. Uh, is it draw three? No, absolutely nothing that we could brew with. Great, awesome. But at least we get another draft. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, as always, happy gaming.